now bats from Pete Taylor Park Magic. 3-2 pitch, struck him out. On the bottom of the 14th inning, Southern Miss and Central Florida are scoreless. Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up! A lot of zeros up on that scoreboard tonight. It's the last time you've seen a scoreless game in the 14th. have won the Conference USA Tournament Championships and the Golden Eagles are headed to the NCAA Tournament. The Eagles have won it! The Eagles are the Super Regional Champions! The Golden Eagles dreamed the impossible dream and that impossible dream has come true. Southern Miss to the top. The Golden Eagles are headed to the College World Series. Got everything. Everybody knows this is a program that's steeped in tradition, but uh, the town knows and the Golden Eagle fans know that Scott Berry's got a very young ball club, a ball club that when they put it all together are going to be as good as anybody in Conference USA. So Scott, excited about the future of this Golden Eagle program and their chance here in 2012 to make a run for the regular season championship in Conference USA. We bring to the conversation the man who is uh, what we call the skipper of the Diamond Eagles, Southern Miss head baseball coach. Scott Berry joins us once again. How are you doing this morning, brother? Doing pretty good. Just uh, <laughs> working my way into the office. There, there, well, there you go. I think a lot of people don't realize that uh, even on game days like uh, tonight, uh, Golden Eagles hosting uh, Central Florida at the, at the peak, you're in the office pretty early. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of work that has to be done before you guys ever suit up and hit the field, isn't it? Well, there is. Day starts with taking my daughter to dropping her off at school, and then trying to get into uh, trying to get in the office by eight o'clock, get everything ready to roll for the season. Uh, and uh, I, I guess now, what we're better, a little bit better than halfway through the, the season. Now, your assessment of of your team, how does how does the story seem to be shaping up? Well, you know, we're nineteen and thirteen, and uh, at times, Tom, we've played really good baseball. But I think more than anything, the record reflects you know, uh, inconsistency in what we really want to do. But, you know, we are we are young, relatively new. Uh, and with that being said, there has been some growing pains. But, you know, I'm excited about this club because we have the ability to play really good baseball. And it's there. We've shown it. We just got to be able to come out and put it together every evening. All right, another day in Southern Miss baseball. Try to get me a little workout in before everything gets going this morning. What kind of gets my mind right? Parking the baseball field for free and then go into uh, business ethics right now. On Fridays, I go to class, uh, come back, I usually take a nap before a game, and then uh, we'll have like a free game meal, get my free game meal in, uh, do a bunch of BP, and then we uh, have the game. So I put, uh, put a quiz. This year's kind of been a learning curve, uh, started off slow, but as the season's gone on, we've gotten better, and uh, Coach Barry's a great coach. Uh, Great guy, I love playing for him. Uh, hammers us on the fundamentals and uh, expects a lot out of us, but I love playing for Coach Barry. Well, got the workout in for the day. Got the mind right. Let's go get after the rest of it. This weekend we're playing Central Florida, uh, number, I think, 15 team in the country. We got Andrew Pierce uh, going tonight, uh, Friday night, and uh, I'm going tomorrow. It's a, Pivotal matchup this point in the season, uh, trying to get in the postseason. It's going to be a great series this weekend.
three hours before every game. All of our relievers are, are getting all their conditioning stuff in. You see my first two rounds? That's choking. You ever hit a walk-off bomb? I don't think I have. Play a mouth, might have a walk-off hit. I think when you talk about Friday night, you're talking about uh, a weekend sweep, uh, and the only way you can do that is by winning the first game. So, first game's huge, and both both teams want to try to try to get in that win column early. Stay low on your shuffle. Three hours before every game, all of our relievers and. Uh, yeah. The non-starters for the, the week are, are getting all their conditioning stuff in. Our starting pitcher is upstairs relaxing in the locker room, probably in the training room, watching TV and probably eating something, I'm sure. You know, I'm a chill guy, but then again, I'm kind of up and kind of playing around. You know, most guys are, are in and focused and all this. For me, I just like to chill and sit back and relax, and run around, play with the guys, and get ready for the game. I love the Friday nights. You know, I love being under the lights. I love the opportunity I get to go out and compete against these good teams and, uh, and play at the Pete in front of the crowd, you know, I mean, you can't beat that. Somebody here is going to be the going to be the hero, okay? Somebody here is going to be the main character. Central Florida got 28 wins. They're, they're tied for number one in the country with the, the most, most wins in, in the country right now. They have something. They have something going, okay? But they, they want something that we have, okay? They want that tradition. They're going to bring it. You better bring it as well. Let's win on Friday night, okay? Finish that part, and then we'll move on to Saturday. Ever since I was probably four or five years old, I wanted to play college baseball. And probably since I was about 10, it's been wanting to play here. So I'm kind of living the dream right now. I, I never take a day for granted. Finally. <laughs> Ah, you see my first two rounds? That's choking. I get blamed for everything. No matter what we do, Travis did it. So uh, it was a battle between us and Ole Miss during a rain delay. It's about two hours long. I think we uh, ended with a victory. Pick. Hey, little steam off. Go get some bunts. Put on funny. See all know this machine's like Roy Holiday. Oh yep. Yeah. Three things kids gotta do to get here. You gotta eat their vegetables, make good grades, and bunt. And welcome back everybody to Pete Taylor Park getting ready for Golden Eagle and Conference USA Baseball tonight. Southern Miss opens up a three-game series against league-leading UCF. You've got your lineup juggled up a little bit from what you've been doing. Uh, is that by design or are you just looking to try to find a spark or what, what's your reasoning there? Well, I'm just trying to play a little bit more matchup tonight. They're starting the left-hander, so you know we're going we're gonna to set one of our left-handed bats. It's Mason Robinson I'm talking about. Try to get him in late in the game because he'll probably go to a righty uh, in middle relief and we can play matchup. The hands stay back anyway. You can stop being manipulating the curve. You're so used to landing and then manipulating the barrel from the side of your body versus getting your legs out of the way so your hands can work. Yeah. Pin run. You ever hit a walk up bomb? I don't think I have. I think I might have a walk off hit. Obviously, an important series. If the Golden Age is going to challenge for the, the league championship this year, you got to come in and play well against these guys. You're right, and it's also, uh, once again, an opportunity to gain some really big points RPI-wise, so we've got a good challenge ahead of us. Don't let yourself down. Don't let your teammates down. And let's go have some fun tonight. Ah! Join the slate. It's been a pitcher's duel all night long. It's the last time you've seen a scoreless game in the 14th. 
You play defense behind him. Swing this right here for it. Talk to the team. I'll be back. Okay, big weekend, you know that. Got a great opportunity tonight. Central Florida's leading the league right now. A couple of games behind. Got a great opportunity to get yourself and vault yourself up there at the top of the standing. So go out, play good baseball, play hard baseball, play together. Don't let yourself down, don't let your teammates down, and let's go have some fun tonight. Ah! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pete Taylor Park here on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi getting ready for Golden Eagle and Conference USA Baseball tonight at Southern Mississippi's Golden Eagles against the Knights of UCM. All right, fellas. Let's go. One, two, coming to Richardson. Breaking ball popped up down the right field line. Get over there. Got room. And Blake Brown over there, and Blake's going to get there and make the catch, and there's one away. Let's go! Pitch from Atkins. Swung on a little number down towards first base. Fielded by Hicks. The throw to first is just in time to beat the diving Creel. Well, that'll do it for the Golden Eagles here in the bottom of the second inning. Atta boy! Yeah. Oh, let's go! Get after it right here! Dang it. Pitching duel so far today. Both pitchers tossing one hitter so far. Keep working, let's go. Big ball game tonight for both clubs. Pierce's fastball hit high down the left field line. Get foul, baby, get foul. Ronnie oh. makes a catch. Wow. Come on, let's get him some runs. Look for something up to hit. Don't try to get too much with it. Let's go. Lights are on, the sun beginning to set here at Pete Taylor Park. Her name's Chiquita. She comes to all the baseball games, and she roots for the Eagles. My name's Barry. All these folks here, we're all neighbors and friends, and the roost is one big happy family. Dr. Two is, he's got the parking spot on it, and um, they've got 40 spots around through here. The waiting list has been gone for 20 years. I mean, uh, people fight over them now. He's one of the original. He was here probably about 25 years ago when they started doing it. Lord willing, we plan on being here for a long more time and watching these Golden Eagles do great. It's been a tradition out here for about a dozen years, and I've probably done it for four or five years. I throw the warm-up ball out to the right fielder who throws it to the center fielder, and they warm up, and then he throws it back. First game of the year, the right fielder brings out the warm-up ball, he throws the center fielder, turns and throws it to me in the right field roost. And I keep the ball. It's the same ball from the first game, looking a little weathered, uh, but it'll go the rest of the season. I don't know why it's a tradition, but I don't know any other school that does it. Eagles and UCF are tied at nothing, nothing. UCF will send up here in the top of the eighth inning. There's seven, eight, nine hitters to face the right hander Andrew Pierce. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Turn up the volume in here. Let's go. Here we go, Eagles. Pierce has retired 17 of the last 19 batters he's faced in this ball game. 2-1 to Shreve. Swung on. Line shot into center field. It's going to drop in front of Day for a base hit. Gets him around to the top of the batting order. Here's Ronnie Richardson. Line drive. Base hit into left field. Ronnie over to cut it off. And the runner going to have to stop at second base. Nice job by Ronnie. Come on, baby. You and him. Let's go. To the plate. Bouncing ball. Back up the middle. Grader gets to it. Throws to first. And... Not in time. Oh, they pulled him off the bag. So an error on Grader. Bases loaded. Two out. Pierce to the plate. Breaking ball. Low. Ball one. No place to put Hicks. 1-0 to Hicks. Breaking ball. Down low. 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh pinch coming up to Hicks. Here's Pierce to the plate. Check swing. That's low. 3-0. Oh. 
3 0 pitch coming to Hicks. He'll be taken all the way. Pitch from Pierce. Strike call. Come on. 3 1 to Hicks. Strike two call. And it's a full count. There we go. 3 2 pitch. Swing and he fouled it back. Yes. Ooh, I thought he had a deck coming. By the way, right here. Wines, kicks, delivers, 3 2 pitch. Struck him out. Pierce gets out of it as he strikes out Hicks with the bases loaded. Yes, sir, baby. Hey, let me tell you something. He's out of the game. He's out of the game. He's pitched 130 pitches. You played defense behind him. Swing this right here for him. A lot of zeros up on that scoreboard tonight, and a lot of fans staying. I want to see how this one's going to end tonight. We had the extra innings. A scoreless battle here tonight between Southern Miss and UCM. Lively trying to work out some trouble here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Come on, baby, let's go. Keep working, keep working. Pitch from Lively. Swung on, lifted to center, and dropping quickly. Going to drop for a base hit. Grader's got to hustle to third base, but he'll get there. Base is loaded for the Golden Eagles now. So Rodriguez comes on. He's 0 for 4 tonight. Eagles have the winning run at third here on the bottom of the 11th inning. Uh, come on, baby, come on. Come on, baby. See the gap for me right here, little man. The right-hander Lively from the belt. 0-2 pitch, Rodriguez takes a strike, three at the knees. That's terrible! Let's go! If you join this late, it's been a pitcher's duel all night long. No score here on the top of the 12th inning. The Eagles have had some chances, Knights have had some chances this evening. Now we're going to move to the top of the 13th inning. Either team has scored tonight. Nothing, nothing, ball game, bottom of the 14th. And the batter is going to be Dylan Day. Swung on a bouncer to the right side, and the second baseman Shreve's got it, and he'll throw to first and just get day by about a step. Lively looks in, gets the sign. Now rocks, kicks, delivers a 2 2 to Rodriguez, and he boots it out towards right field. That's a base hit. So Isaac Rodriguez gets on base. So Rodriguez on at first. Creel is a batter. Come on, Travis. Come on, baby. Let's go. Lively now from the stretch. 2-2 two, two to Creel. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. So Creel strikes out swinging. Pinch hitter in the D-8 spot. And we're going to get Mason Robbins coming up as a pinch hitter. Make sure you're loose here. Get yourself a good pitch. Look to drive oh, one here. Hitter. Try to pinch hit. If you can, Mason try to recognize Robbins. something early in the count. Get after it. Got me? Well, Robbins now going to come to the plate as a hitter. Right-handed pitcher Lively facing the left-handed hitting Robbins. Pitch to the plate. Swung on, fouled away. Rodriguez at first with two out in the bottom of the 14th in a scoreless ball game. Pitch just missed outside, and it's one and one. Rodriguez at first with two out. On the stretch, the right-hander Lively. A kick and fire. Robbins swings and misses on a breaking ball. Strike two. Neither team has scored tonight. Nothing, nothing ball game. Bottom of the 14. 1 2 to Robbins. Swings good, and he fouls good. it back. Just got a piece of it. Power ball, handle the bat. Let's go. A lot of zeros up on that scoreboard tonight. And a lot of fans staying. I want to see how this one's going to end tonight. It's the last time you've seen a scoreless game in the 14 at any level. That's it, that's it. Lively kicks it, fires. Swung on, fly ball, short left field, dropping quickly, and guy's going to drop it. Then it's booted. It's booted. Around third comes Rodriguez. He's going to score. Eagles win. Mason Robbins looked one down the left field line, and Rodriguez was coming all the way, and he scores, and the Eagles win it one to nothing. Hey, yeah. you deserve to win that game. You understand? Both teams played well, but people kept knocking at each other. You got the final knock. Great job, Mason. You hear me? A lot of big plays in that game. I'm pretty excited, I ain't gonna lie. That's awesome when you can, as a freshman, I guess, to come in and win a game for your team. 
And I shouldn't get any of the credit because she, uh, my pitchers, pitchers basically did all work for us tonight. Oh man, I remember, I think I told somebody, I was like, man, these people in the stands are enjoying a heck of a game, and uh, I can't remember who it was, somebody was like, well, you think about it, you're always going to remember sitting in this dugout for this game, so it was really awesome. I want to thank you all for joining us today in the game day experience at Southern Miss Baseball. We enjoyed hosting you here around the facilities in Pete Taylor Park. We certainly appreciate all the support, and we hope to see you at a ball game here at, at uh, Pete Taylor Park, too. Thank you.